another dandy. Look at that. South Dakota Walleyes Unlimited, dedicated to preserving, protecting, and improving all fisheries within the state of South Dakota. Making sure these pristine waters are available years to come for our children and grandchildren. South Dakota Walleyes Unlimited. Going into my first ever walleye tournament, I'm super excited. I've grown up walleye fishing my whole life. This tournament is based out of one of my home lakes here in South Dakota, Angostor Reservoir. This is a South Dakota Walleyes Unlimited tournament, a two-day, two-man tournament. The conditions are supposed to be rough with tons of rain, but we're going to grind through it and hopefully catch some nice walleyes. Stay tuned. Alrighty folks, so right now me and my dad are headed down to Angostor Reservoir here in South Dakota for a walleye fishing tournament. It's a two-day, two-man tournament, so today's Friday morning uh, at 7.30 right now. We're headed down, doing some pre-fishing today, just try to get something figured out. It's supposed to be super rainy. It's raining right now. It's supposed to rain all day today. Tomorrow's not supposed to be as bad, and then rain again Sunday, so I'll go over all the tournament stuff with you guys later today, but probably not too much filming with all the rain today, so we're going to head down, hopefully figure something out today. Should be a good time. So we were running all over trying all different spots and eventually we got onto a few walleyes doing what we like to do, throwing swim baits up in around three to six foot of water. Just switched over to cranking not too long ago. Nice walleye. Walleye number four. Just put that 18 in the live well and this one hooked up. Well, we just got back from pre-fishing, got the cabin all settled in, um, going through rods right now. Um, pre-fishing was tough today. We managed to figure out a little something, throwing swim baits in about five foot of water. We caught three keepers and dumped another keeper at the boat. And then we figured out a little something cranking, um, caught one keeper and quite a few enders doing that. Boats launch tomorrow morning at seven o'clock. We're boat number 11. This tournament is a length tournament, so you're looking for those big, long walleyes. Um, say you catch a couple overs, you gotta go into either the marina or they'll have a boat out on the water where you'll measure them and they'll let your fish go right there. They'll write down the length of the fish on a scorecard and you can have 10 fish on your scorecard, but you only will essentially weigh in your biggest six and they'll just add up your biggest six and that will be your day's total. Um, so hopefully scratch out six good ones each day but we'll see you guys in the morning. So, all right, copy of the rules. Okay. Um, one thing we changed this year is fishing inside the buoys at the dam is off limits. Um, other than that, pretty much the same. Four o'clock today, three o'clock tomorrow. Uh, today we are going to do just a single line all the way out because we only got 23 boats. Okay. So we're just lining everybody up here. And okay. Meander out till we get outside the wake buoys. And okay. You guys are free to roam. Perfect. All right, day one of the tournament. It's 6:11. We got the boat put in. Just got just our just got our boat number and boat inspection done. 
just waiting here for all the boats to put in. They start launching boats at 7. We're boat number 11. Probably going to head over to that one spot and throw swim baits where we got those three keepers and grind that out for a while this morning. But should be a good time. What the heck are they doing? Oh, they're picking up all the boats up. Number one, we're just gonna be throwing the swim baits here where we got those keepers yesterday. Hopefully, pick some out of here. Alrighty, so pitching was not happening. Apparently, the walleyes are not up there. We got one smallmouth. Got the cranking rods ready. We're gonna head out and start cranking. Hopefully we can start turning some fish. Finally got a walleye, holy crap. Pitching sucked this morning. Never caught a fish cranking. Finally just caught a little walleye. Big and smaller. Oh, just got that little walleye and got that small mouth. Y'all that boat scoots. and three quarters Sweet. we might get out of them. Walleye number one. Nice. Nice light number here. Nice night. Nice. Yeah. Decent. Grab the net. I don't think it's too big. But I think you'll keep if it's walleye. You gotta bring in more and get them. Oh yeah. What do you think? Box or not? We got so We gotta go in now? Huh? We gotta go in. Okay. Just pitching these plastics up here in the five foot of water. 17 three quarters. Walleye number two. Dang it, they like this thing. This is my third little walleye on this jig, and I've caught a keeper. They like that little combination right there. Just a little guy. Yeah. God dang it, I get one of these every class. just had a jig over the edge bouncing on the bottom just caught a nice walleye 
So now we gotta head in, go get these fish measured. That's a fat one. 19 or, I think we'll get 19 on this. Sweet, hold them up. That's what we need. Nice one. Nice one on Head on in and go get these fish measured. Nice fish, fellas. Oh, wrong way. That's our little. I can read it upside down too. 19 and a half. I'm good with that. 19 and a half. Alrighty, so we just went in and got our fish measured. We have a 19 and a half, two 18s, and a 17 and a half. Um, they'll take our biggest six, and then they convert that into pounds. So, just gotta get a couple more of those 19 plus ones, and we'll be sitting pretty good. So, get back to fishing. He came back for it. He let go of it for a minute. Here, let me come back there. Wall. Yeah, he dropped it. Oh my gosh. That's a big walleye. Oh my gosh. It's a good one. Did you go to a crawler? No, a minnow. I first cast with the minnow. Really? He let go of it and came back and hit it again. Yeah. Oh, it's over 19. That's going to be a 20. Well, we got to call that an over. I mean, so just yeah. in case we get another one. Uh -huh. They'll call that one 20. Sweet. Thanks, fish, buddy. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. What do you got going on over there? He's beating the crap out of it. Well, after I caught that 19 and a half, fishing has kind of died, so we're gonna slide out here a little deeper and anchor up and jig with the jigger a minnow for try one of these out a little hair jig, but catch one more good one we got to go in and that'll be our sixth and then we can put four more on our scorecard but we're happy with two of them that 19 and a half and then my well they'll probably call it a 20 them ones are two good ones that we got so just gotta get a couple more nice ones it's been a minute since we've caught one just a little guy though hair jig with a little twister We got four other spots. Two good ones. Yeah. 16 incher. Nice. Coming up here. one either way it'll be 19 and a quarter so that's said that that should work just came to a new spot and started pitching she just stuck a 19. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's gotta be bigger than that. 
team. It's not a bad one at all, dude. What the heck are you talking about? I don't about? know. I think this is I know, our smallest. Yeah. Take him? Yep. Can you gonna get the nineteen and a half? Yep. Nineteen and a half. Eighteen and a half? Eighteen and a half. How you feel it? It was We're gonna call it twenty. You good with twenty? Yep. Sixteen and a half. Yeah. It just. What was it? Sixteen and a half. Yeah. Actually, it should come right down the ridge. Bass, I think. Well, it should be if it. Could. You know, it's got to be nineteen. First cast over here. Yeah. The air jig's doing the, the trick. Not gonna do it. Sweet. Thank you, sir. Yep, 915. I got a ride too. Oh, shit. Sweet. Didn't really matter, did it? Thank <laughs> you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Cool. Alrighty, well, that's a wrap for day one of the tournament. We ended up with 13.8 pounds. They'll take your longest six and convert it into pounds. Um, we did the calculations ourselves, but we're still waiting for them to go through and do all the weights. So, We'll know here in a little bit how we ended up. My dad lost a good one there at the end. That was a bummer. But we both won a nice rod from a door prize. Um, so that was worth it right there. Both got a brand new rod. So we're gonna sit here, some rig, some tackle up, get ready for tomorrow. Well, just got to pick up park. Day two of this tournament, final day. Um, it's supposed to be windy and rainy again today, so see what I can do for footage wise. We're sitting in 10th place right now We got a little something figured out at the end of the day yesterday And that might not be able to be fishable this morning with the wind, but we're gonna give her heck We need about 15 pounds to have a chance at this thing. The weights are pretty close in top 10, so Who knows anybody could catch them good today and end up really good. So we need a bag today So hopefully we can catch a fish stay tuned I don't know how you can well you can hear me but it's windy and rainy we're crushing them we just got here like five minutes ago we've got a 16 and a half my dad just caught that one threw it back in the 18 and a half we put in the box so I'll try to get some footage but it's not filming condition so we were just working this flat from about five to eight foot of water just drifting back and forth with bottom bouncers we were crushing them we were turning a lot more fish than day one we're catching them we were catching way more keepers, but we were throwing back 17 and a halves, knowing that we nice. needed a good bag today.
how you get right. Oh yeah. You gotta keep them both just doubled get up. Save, watch out that way. I'm right down on it. I think we both have been on the floor of this boat at some point in the day. 19 and a quarter. 19 and a quarter. Seventeen and three quarter. Nineteen. Yep. Nineteen. Slick the butcher. Eighteen and a half. Yep. Eighteen and a half. What do you got? 17. Huh? 17. All right, we just made a big moment of the day. Just caught a tank. I needed to get rid of a couple 17s and here's one of the upgrades. Off our scorecard, you mean. Oh my gosh, dude, nice. Hold that one up. <laughs> Let me get your picture up. Be the right one. Good? That's decent. Just got to be over 17. 18. Oh, oh, oh. Put that in the Dang it, I don't know. Got to measure. Seventeen and a quarter. Thought he was. Well, I just ended that last clip, and then my dad hooked up. Thank you. Nineteen and three quarter. Yep. Nineteen and three quarter. Oh, I don't know what. Oh, so we had two of those seventeen and three quarter. Okay, so we had uh, four point four two, two point six four, two point four two, two point three two, two point one two. 1.86 15 seconds plus if I went to last level we'd have a cash check yesterday 29.58 Jesus Christ today is that good? yeah almost 30 pounds really? alrighty folks that is a wrap of the tournament um sorry for the lack of footage today it was super windy and it rained pretty much all day long we had a much better day today, turned a lot more fish, probably caught 35 keepers. They were from that 16 to 17 inch range. Um, ended up with a pretty good bag today. My dad caught a 23 right 20 minutes till the end. So that was clutch. Um, we were bottom bouncing all day and then we switched over to just dragging jigs and we put a couple of drift socks out and that was pretty good. Um, it was a good tournament. Ended up with just over 15 and a half pounds a day. Don't know where that put us on the scoreboard yet. Have to wait till the night for the results. I'll post that after this clip. But good tournament. It was a fun time. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.